Well, welcome everybody to a, another edition of TW2021 here, as it's the ninth day of 31 days of May, as we're continuing our Cornell verse. And again, um, as I went over, I think on the last video, because it's the other video I recorded today, I did change from stereo to mono because there were some people having some issues with only hearing about a left earbud. So hope that fixed it. If it didn't or other words started happening, of course, comment, but hope that all fixed things. Anyway, again, we're being continuing with our Cornell verse series here in the Queens of American Wrestling. And we had a solid first show, uh, led by Lenny America defeating Foxy the Rude, retaining the KW World Championship. And then America and MMA, you know, basically um, facing off before the world title match next month. Anderson and Snyder wanting a rematch against Perez and Torres in a two out of three falls match. And some other stuff happening. So let's get on with the show itself. Nothing that important happened in the month between shows. Uh, we had some production changes. Some of our wrestlers being hired um, for some of the for some of the uh, secondary, not secondary. Um, what's what I'm looking for for some of the other companies that I like added in. Uh, but yeah, outside of that, like yeah, some booking positions available, but you know nothing too important here. Um, and then also we had Becca Barton competing from a brawler to a regular wrestler, and then Darkness Cat walking out on CILO. So that's interesting. But yeah, again storylines are still the same. We got best in the business. Uh, the whole main event feud here, which I have something interesting here to possibly do. Uh, holding the line, which of course is this big feud. Perfection versus Modesty. And Stormfront versus The Clench Fist. So, let's move on to our big show here tonight. QAW San Antonio Invasion. Again, uh, with this series I'm going to do the booking on screen. A, to sort of keep myself honest. And B, just to see how people enjoy it. So we got a backstage incident. Fair Hesketh and Ashley Grover. There we go. Passing on yay okay um so first we are going to set this in let's see here mm. let's just book it at the municipal school gym even though we're going to have 680 fans let's just book it like just see something a little more fun um yeah and then so first we'll um uh, actually i want to do this like sort of bottom to top so let's begin. Well, okay. Yeah, actually, let's go ahead and um, set things up as we do have a storyline here. So we have um, not that. So last month, Hellcat continued to beat down on Alexis Lee Lovefeather Love, Love until Water Hernandez is made the save. So then we have this feud. And what the problem is, of course, um, Stormfront, which I'll pull up the stables here. Stormfront is these three people, and of course, where are they? Punch Fist are these are these four women, but two of these women are, you know, busy. So what we're going to do is a fun little tag match involving the leaders and you know their backup. So. We're going to do here is sort of pick to set things up. It's going to be Sona and Moana sort of putting over that Lexus got beat up, and it's going to be Felicia Luck and um oh god I told yeah Hellcat there we go. This will go let's say thirteen, and we're going to have just so they have a little bit of interesting here. We're actually going to have Wana pick up the win over Felicia. Open match, all out. And a decisive win via pinfall. And then we're going to do a fun little post match angle where Hellcat yells at Felicia. But Wanna call out Hellcat. There we go. So there you go. Hellcat, Felicia, and Wanna. And we'll see how that goes. Then we also have a another match set up by last month, which was well, we have Payback Inc. versus Tex Tex Mex, but the problem is Payback Inc. are heels, so putting them against the race for the tag tails don't make doesn't make much sense. But what we can do is do a rematch for the Shockwave title. So we'll do this as since it was kind of a screwy finish. And so we'll do that, and then we'll go... Ooh, 
Ooh, I, I actually like this. So, well, no, no, that's way too long for these two. Um, I need to go back and see here. How long did that go? It went, okay, 9 11. Okay, so I actually like this as an idea. So, we'll do Little Miss Perfect versus Modesty Parlor. We'll go 11 minutes. I know what you're all thinking now. Modesty Parlor gets the win. It's a flash pinfall. Decisive, though. Yes, I know. And then we're going to do an angle where little Miss Perfect tells Modesty Shockwave title was only on the line for first 10 minutes. There we go. stuff here okay but yeah we can go back to this feud so we can't have a big six-man tag here well no actually what we can do is we can have a ooh how long has that feud actually going to go on so holding the line has been going on since basically August so so praise for and Thanksgiving Thunder um, okay, so here's what we'll do, is we'll do a, walk through the roof, who's, let's see here, stables of the line is Ashley, Houston, and Teresa, okay. So Teresa, right, and then teams is Tex-Mex is Teresa Houston, so we'll do this is going to quickly on the chaos open match outside interference as actually of course we'll get attacked by Becca actually the rue will get attacked by Teresa it's going to be yeah then we'll go to a double DQ And then it's going to be a fight. Commissioner Bomb comes out and makes it a six man. So we got Foxy, Ashley, Tony, Becca. Teresa, and who's the final goal here? Hold on, yeah, Houston, okay, should have known that. Houston all fighting. And then that can lead to a six performance match, as it's going to be, of course. Ashley Grover. Teresa, and Houston the heel team of Foxy, Becca, and Tony. And this can go nine minutes. This is going to be a bit of mayhem. Or not mayhem, but a car crash. And then what will happen is actually Grover will get the win over Becca Barton. in the midst of the chaos and that'll accomplish exactly nothing. There you go, fun stuff. Um, okay. Now let's throw in our two big matches as it's going to be. There we go. Let's do two versus two just to set it up. Uh, where is two out of three balls? God damn it. All right, hold on. 
let's add new match versus two, two out of three falls, two V two. There we go. That can go 20 and the heels get the win back here. No, 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 actually. Because, yeah, we really want to make the heels go crazy. Here is actually the heels get the win again. Slow build. The Cypher win. Pinfall finish. And there we go. And then... Anderson and Snyder freak out. Then we'll also book our main event. Well, no. I, now that I know how much time we have, I, I think I'm good. So who still doesn't work? Okay, so, right, okay. And that is the other thing I wanted to do. All right. Cool. Okay, so if you notice, our tag champions aren't in, in, don't have a match, but they do have a match. As we'll set this up earlier, as it's going to be Daniel Sweetheart, of course, lost to MMA, and Pamela Rojo, who's sort of an undercard babyface, against the Rage, but it's going to be a non-title match. Yes, I, I don't care. They don't do chemistry. It makes no sense. They would have bad chemistry, but whatever. Now here's the thing, this is going to be a non-title match. What's going to happen is of course, the heels get a little messy and they actually lose by DQ. And we'll just have Pamela Rojo getting the win here. And then that can lead to a title match next month. Mm. We need storytelling and high spots match. Um, honestly, well, no, we can't do those because they're back and forth and crazy. Um, ooh, honestly, yeah. Okay, then we'll throw our world we'll throw our world title match and this will go let me double check MMA stamina. Her stamina is okay, 67, she's fine. It'll be world championship and I'll go over the how this actually finishes on the show completely. So build decisive win, but a flash pinfall. Okay, and then post-match angle, which I'll explain when it happens. Let's see here, I forgot. Emma, how good are you actually, Mike-wise? Mm -hmm. Not great, so how about, okay. So Commissioner Bomb, oh. And then let me go back to MN. Let me see what her uh, menace looks like. Ooh, okay. Not good either. Actually, we'll just eat it because Alina and Bomb are that good. Okay. So we still have 30 minutes to work with. Uh, no storytelling, no high spots. Um, honestly... Yeah, this can be our storytelling match. Because, yeah, it tells the whole story of the 10 minute. Or... Yes, yes, I know. And then our opener. Um, let's see here. So, people who don't have anything to do is Alexis Lee, but she's selling the beat down, Minnie the Minx, Rancrow Ricardo, Coco Malloy, Drink Miss Cack, and Easy Quick. So, we got five people total. Um, honestly, 
let's just throw a three-way on here. Well, actually, let me go, go back. Okay, so. Bleacher Luck won. Rogo's not on in the match. Alvarado, I think, got pinned. So, yeah, we'll do that. And then, no, okay, so this actually can be just a total... Yeah, all right, so we got exclude everybody booked. So we got Coco Malloy, Darkness Cat, and Raquel Alvarado. There we go. 12 minute opener. Alvarado goes over. High spots to open things up. Open match and a decisive win. There we go. Then we'll have our the booking analysis. Okay, Aaron Lawrence. Um, do we have a local ref? Yes, we do. There we go. All right. So, uh, yeah. So we got thirteen minutes, hundred five segments. People aren't working, Alexis Lee, but you know, she's selling being beat up. Izzy and Millie are fine, and then there's me. Alright, so to go over the show, we got our opening triple threat. We got Little Miss Perfect versus Monty Spiller and rematch for the QAW Shockwave title. We got Stormfront versus Clench Fist going from last month. We got Daniel Sweetheart and Pamela Rojo versus Okay, actually, I think this works. Ooh, I don't want to do it back and forth, but yeah. That actually works a little better. And then we got Foxy the Roo versus Ashley Grover, which will turn into a six man. Then we got Daniel Sweetheart and Pamela Rojo versus The Rage in a non title match. Carson Torres versus Anderson Snyder in a two out of three falls match. And then we got our main event of MMA versus Lane in America for the QAW World Championship. So let's go to the show. And we start things off as Raquel Alvarado defeats Coco Molloy and Darkness Cat in a 12 minute match when Alvarado submits Molloy. So, you know, Darkness Cat does a big dive and gets knocked out. 38, perfectly good opening match. Coco Malloy gets a 30, Darkness Cat gets a 38, Raquel Alvarado gets a 31. And yeah, Darkness Cat is sort of a veteran, so she's just sort of stuck in this lower card role for the moment. And then we have our next match, which is for the QAW Shockwave title, or at least we think so, as about the like, decent reaction, but so far wrestling for the crowd. Monty Spador defeats Little Miss Perfect in 10 minutes, 32 seconds, by pinfall the quick cradle. So basically, Little Miss Perfect plays defense, like avoids pinfalls as much as, much as possible, but eventually, when I see goes on a roll and gets the pinfall over Little Miss Perfect, this gets a 30. Monty Spiller gets a 19. Little Miss Perfect gets a 37. Little Miss Perfect gets off her game. And then, of course, this match, um, as I went over, Little Miss Perfect informs Monty that the Shockwave title was only on the line for the first 10 minutes. Crowd boos, and there you go. 24. Then you do great with a script, but this is the Indies. So there, is, there are no scripts. And 490 people, by the way. Then we have our big tag team match as Tana Shaw and Mona Hurricane defeat Felicia Luck and Hellcat Hernandez when Mona Hurricane pins Felicia Luck. This gets a 45. Big match. I, like, I basically say Juana and Hellcat aren't in the ring that much. Um, and both women, of course, are better against their understudies of the other team. Um, but eventually, like I said, Juana is able to get Felicia Luck and gets the big pinfall victory here. This gets a 45. Juana gets a 53. Tana Shaw gets a 28. Hellcat Hernandez gets a 47. And Felicia Luck gets a 24. And post match, like I said, Hellcat yells at Felicia, you know, tells her she's got to be better. Juana calls out Hellcat and says you know, she was in this match too. And if you want to take her on one on one, she'll be waiting for her. And this gets a 37. Not bad. Hmm. <clears throat> Sorry. And then, like I said, an extremely short match. And like I said, Ashley Grover went to a draw with Foxy LaRue. And okay, this is following in from Teresa Perez, but like both also um, Becca Barton, everybody gets involved. This gets a 41 because it only went five minutes. I don't even need to worry really about this. But Foxy gets a 54. Ashley Grover gets a 41. There's a big fight. Commissioner Bomb comes out and basically sets things up for a six man as this gets a 36. And then we have our actual big match here as in a car crash, which I'll check how well it does. Um, and about that good wrestling and decent ranking of the crowd, the line of Ashley Grover, Teresa Perez, and Houston Hanley defeats Ronan three of Rock, Becca Barton, Foxy the Rue, and Tony Parisi when Ashley Grover. Has Becca Barton in the middle ring by herself, while everybody else is otherwise indisposed, and gets the pinfall victory here on at San Antonio Invasion. This gets a 50, Houston gets a 44, Teresa gets a 39, Ashley gets a 43, Tony Crazy gets a 48, Fox Rue gets a 51, Becca Barton gets a 37. So this fact this got a 50 is helped out 
by the style of a match, which I'm going to guess. Get momentum, all out, all out. Uh, yeah, okay. And post match, oh right, then we're on to our next match, which is, of course, the Tag Team Champions of the Rage, taking on of Honey Badger and Marine Quinn, taking on the Soup, King of Sweetheart, and Pamela Rojo. Back and forth match, and Daniel Sweetheart looks like the top tier talent that she is. Uh, but you know, eventually gets knocked out of the ring, but Pamela Rojo fights on. But just like it looks like too far, Rojo gets is firing back when right in the middle of the ring, or right in the uh, you know, in front of the ref, Marie Putin comes in with the title belt and whacks Pamela Rojo from behind. Ref calls for the bell. The heels leave to the boost of the crowd, and we'll have to see what happens from here. As this gets a 44, Rojo gets a 40, Sweetheart gets a 54, Badger gets a 21, Kuhn gets a 19. They have a little chemistry, which is unfortunate, but we'll just have to work with it for now. And then in our two out of three falls match, which, oh right, I keep on forgetting Perez and Torres have no chemistry as partners as well. Game, you really kind of screwed me here. Um, but anyway, in about that good wrestling, these aren't from the crowd. Perez and Torres defeat Anderson Snyder two falls to one to win the tag match here. Back and forth match, Perez and Torres use their Lucha Libre styles. Anderson Snyder, I mean, you get what they're based off. Lots of holds, submissions, takedowns, suplexes. Um, but Anderson Snyder actually gets the big win early, hitting one of their big double teams to take up the advantage. But after a few more minutes, Perez and Torres come back with their, with their you know, back and forth action, and Perez locks Anderson in a wacky Lucha submission to get the pinfall. And, you know, big hot finish, but Torres gets the pin on Snyder, picks up the victory, and a big victory for Perez and Torres here at San Antonio Invasion. As it gets a 48, it gets a 46, or 36. Perez gets a 47, Snyder gets a 46, Anderson gets a 45. And post-match, Anderson and Snyder, Snyder freak out to the delight of the crowd and a 27. And that's time for the main event. As, okay, so what happens here is, you know, back and forth match. Lady America is doing her US Pro style, a little bit of flying, a little bit of suplexes, trying to get the big win here. Uh, but MMA, MMA fights back with some MMA. I really can't believe I didn't get this name until I started the series. And eventually, it looks like she has in America locked in a tight hold, but in America fights out of it, fights out of it, and eventually rolls MMA over. And Emma seems unaware that she's on her shoulders, but the referee isn't. So as she's trying to lock the hold in more, she's on her shoulders. The ref comes down, counts one, counts two, and counts three, and then calls for the bell. MMA lets go, thinking she's won the title, but when the belt is handed over to Lena America, the ref, you know, explains what happens. MMA isn't happy. Lena America is leaving the ring, and MMA basically takes the mic and says, you know, this is BS. She had her locked in. She was going to tap. Uh, Lena America, you know, basically fires back, you know, she was smarter in that ring. You should be, this is about pro wrestling, not, you know, MMA. And it looks like we're going to have a battle. When Commissioner Bombs comes out and sets up another match, one more time for American Lucha. In rematch for the QEW Championship. But there's a deal. It is going to be a submission match. But if MMA loses, she never challenged for the QEW world title. Well, only in America is the champion. Huh? Did I already book? Oh. Well, no. Pre book match? Hold on. MMA versus Alina America. Right. Oh. Okay. I think I, I see what it is. Submission. I'll name it. I'll just throw in some just in case for the world title. And that is pre-booked now. Okay. So they get the 57 overall. And the match itself gets us a 51. So good stuff. I think a little better than our first show. So MMA actually did better than I thought she would. Um, let's see here. Who else stood out? Who stood out? Uh, Fox, Foxy LaRue did well on the undercard. As did, let's see here, Raquel. Thanks for being on the undercard for us, sure. And we'll see if there's any news. We'll go over sort of like, you know, how our storylines and how oh, Overness and all that fun stuff is going, and then we'll go from there.
And we'll also take a look around the wrestling world, focusing on the women's fed. So obviously, I'm betting USPW is USPW, TCW is TCW, and all that fun stuff. So, uh, let's see here. First, let's look at our mail. Yeah, Darkness Cat. Okay, I don't care. Um, that was better than our first show, right? Yeah. Oh, no. I actually was slightly worse. Which I sort of get. Like, we didn't have that second great match. Like, we had Perez and Torres again, which we got a 48. But we didn't have that second mid-50s match, which makes sense. And we didn't have a Fox of the River promo, which honestly, that's on me. <laughs> Um, so yeah, let's first look at our storylines. So, Best in the Business is at a 47. Birth of the Furies is at a 53. And then, uh, let's see here. We got Holding the Line at a 50. Perfection of Mossy at a 27. And Stormfront vs. Clench Fist at a 42. And what we're going to probably do is throw in, at least for the moment, recall, throw in, uh, where is she? Pamela, there we go. And throw him, her in, at least for the moment, into the Birth of Fury storyline. So, if we look at our roster, let's just first start with our top stars. So, popularity-wise, America is still out of 34. MMA, on the other hand, is up to a 31, so that's positive. And if we look at stars, we got Danielle Sweetheart at a 32. Which is okay. So down she did the job of MMA, but she got the win for to huge. She's back up a point. Foxy the Rue is okay. She's kind of need. Okay, she needs to be rebuilt a little bit. A Hellcat Fernandez is at twenty six, so that's where she's been. Uh, Juan Hurricanes at a twenty nine, which is where she's been. Makes sense. Let's see, Tony Parisi, who I, I forgot is this over. Is still at a 30, probably in part due to win. If we look at well known, let's see here. Astro Rovers at a 21. Yeah, so she's up a bit. Like, let's see here. Anybody else? Let's see here. How did Ter getting okay? So two big wins really helped Therese. Also helped Pinky. Yeah, she's up to a 22. And it looks like it might have hurt uh our friends Ava and Lily. Let's see here. Ava's down. Yeah, well, no, okay, she, she's only down. She's basically where she started. So let's check in on Lily. Okay. Actually, not bad. They're getting a couple points despite losing twice, and there we go. So again, champion still. Shockwave champion, Little Miss Perfect. Looks like she might get another match against Monty Parlor. Team champions are still the Rage. And world champion is still Union America. So then, if we take a look around our wrestling world, Let's first off start with five star. Um, let's look at what they did for their big show. So, for Reign Supreme, we had Yuna Maria defeat Heart Saito to retain the world title in a 75. We had Jipin Shara and Nakajima defeat Termination in a 74, featuring two, two of the people who people get rid of usually in five star saves, and a huge main event as Mika. Okay, so we got we got Mako. Kaka Circa and Birds of Prey defeat Chieko Kita and Torment and Sorrow. So a really big win here. Interesting. And then for Women of Wrestling, we had Yomura defeat Jimmy Ushi, defeat the world title in a 79. And we had Hate Empire defeat Hartseito and Fika. So that's Nakajima and Shori defeat Hija and Hartseito in an 81. Sure. Uh, let's see here. Send broadcasting deals, which is good for them. Baltimore Wild have hired some women, but no, no shows yet. Uh, WA, let's see, what, what what's their women's matches? Uh, Lauren Easter defeated Natty Snow in a cage match. Amor Allen defeated Deborah Young. Laura Flame defeated Sally Ann Christensen. So there's no women's world title match. That's interesting. Hold on, let me look at the titles. Uh, world champion. Nope, women's world champion. Yeah, Brooke Tyler. Uh, okay, she's just defending on TV, which is odd. Uh, let's see here. CCW, I mean, they do, um, yeah. J-Star, which is a promotion, like, I made when I was going to do a diary on Raydog, but I never got to it, but it's still in my game. So let's see who the champions are. Okay, so J-Crown is Wolf Yamada, who is, I think, yeah.
uh, J Crown Tag Team is Akira Want to Be and Hazuma Want to Be. Okay, I mean, that makes sense. JW Star Rushing Spirit is Muzukor, who's a newcomer, and Ultra Star Trophy has not been given yet. Have they had any big shows? Let's see. The fight continues. Okay, we've made it by Wolf Yamada versus Ramona Diaz. That makes sense. I think Wolf is a somebody from the Women's Rev Revolution mod who I imported. Let's see here, Queens of America, you know all, you know, you know all about. Sparkle is a, again, a, a enemy for a diary that has really gone nowhere. It involves a lot of characters I created, so I'm not really going to pull it up for the moment. And also, I think, yeah, they have no shows, so that's something I might have to fix here. Uh, let's see, USPW, again, they have a second show, which looks like a B show, so that's interesting. So again, if we go to their last big show, Star Slipped and Slams. What was the big one? Okay, Women's Melody Defeat Killer Cass. Okay. And Ray Robinson we went Wendy Anderson. And again, let me check out the titles, because that makes little sense. Yeah, Jamie Quinn, she beat. And then let me just see what she's been doing since then. Nope, that's it. Okay. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Okay, and that's about it. I mean, there's other like stuff going on, but that's like the main stuff. Um, so yeah, again, these might be slightly shorter videos because I'm only going a month at a time. Uh, these are pretty simple shows, so it's not going to be like something huge every month. But yeah, we sort of got stuff built up. We'll have to see how, um, you know, Perez and, uh, yeah, I mean, Perez and Tori seem like they might be the next ones up for a tag title shot, but also, uh, Sweetheart and, uh, and Rojo did get the DQ win. Anderson and Snyder will have to rebuild themselves, of course. And then, of course, we got Little, Modest, Little Miss Perfect, probably having to defend her Chalkwave title, possibly in a longer match. Uh, we have the rematch for the world title. And then, of course, you know, the fuse between Stormfront and Clenched Fist, the line, and Ronin 3, and, you know, the Furies and everybody else will continue here. But that's it for now. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and give it a like, comment below when you're liking it all, liking. And subscribe to the channel for plenty of TW2020 and other content, including um, some W2K23, Victoria 3, Crusader Kings 3, uh, Journey of Wrestling with AWA. And yeah, that's about it. Or maybe some other stuff that might pop up. But that's all for now. So I'll talk to you later. And adios. Have a good one.